Hello. So, you are the hardcore Dr. Pi fans because you've made it through this far to see me demonstrate the code. You didn't just suffer death by PowerPoint. So, what have we got? We've got my original code which read a CSV file. It read some values in the CSV file and based on the information in those columns it then put the content of the row into a Word document. And you have to bear with me because I use LibreOffice and it's been a bit slow here. So I'm going to pause this and come back in a second. So here we go. This is the content of my dummy CSV file. Now, I'm putting six rows in this because I don't want to spend all day testing it. And if it works with six rows, it'll work with 60, 600, 6,000, 60,000. Possibly not 600,000 because I believe there's some sort of flaw in Excel which stops it working beyond 65,000. The reason I say Excel is because I've written this in LibreOffice, but I'm sure many of you will want to use this in Excel. So it works in Excel just the same. I've, I have tested it previously with Excel. Um, I work on the basis that if it works in LibreOffice, it will definitely work in Excel. Um, so um, one other little thing just to mention, if you make your own CSV, which presumably you will, because you're not gonna want to use this old crap, um, make sure you don't, as you can see, the cursor's flashing there after, there's a space after the P. Remove that. And if you have a space after any of your titles, it'll break your code because you'll end up with, again, you've got an ID. Delete that. If you have that, it won't, it won't work with your template. Uh, what's the template? Well, the template is, a Word document, I'll just go over this, you've probably may have seen it before on, pre on uh, old videos, but here we go. It is, it's a standard Word document, but um, it's got curly braces around the fields which you want to dynamically insert data into. I'm just going to pause again and find the actual file for you. Yeah, so here we go. This is template.docx, docx being the Microsoft Word file extension. So you may have in this previous video seen me using a pair of double uh, curly braces. Curly braces is the correct name, I believe. Um, title, model, comment, firmware. So I used those all before. What's new today is following the subscriber's request, I've put conditional in here. So if the model is greater than 877, you say can upgrade, model is okay. This is just me messing about with some sample data potentially for upgrading routers. So you could say if, <laughs> if car is greater than two liters, um, not eco. <laughs> car is too bad or you could say if car is less than 1.5 liters car is eco buy it whatever anyway that's, I'm just talking shit now so um, let's just run the code shall we shut the fuck up right sudo python3 pdoc all this is on github this code so pdoc-csv.py all it uses is my python file template.docs and the CSV file which I've just shown you and hopefully we'll see some action. Those are six example files which let me just delete those otherwise you'll, you'll think it hasn't done anything and I'm, you'll think I'm a big horrible liar. And if anybody moans that this video is too long, well, I did tell you, you could have just watched the start of it and uh, watched the slides. This is proof that it works. No point just putting up some slides and saying it works. There you go, off you go. I, uh, <laughs> well, that's the whole point of a video, surely. And here we go. So 
if I open up, oh, let me close all this crap in the background. That's still open from before. That's my code in Atom, which is on GitHub. You've seen that in the previous video, or if you haven't, then I'll put a link to it so you can go and have a look at it. Um, okay, so I know that three was okay. I can't remember what site, but we're about to find out. Okay, Bristol, 2960, can upgrade, 2960 is okay. Comment, that's just rubbish. Okay, let's open file four. File four, model 877, model is too old. Right, okay. And you notice how it's kept the gray? That's quite cool. Five, 2950, can upgrade. 2950 is okay, which it isn't. If anybody knows anything about routers, that's fucking ancient. But anyway, that's enough. I'm sure you've got the gist. Um, all right, just one more, just for lols. Uh, fine, can upgrade. So, conditional, conditional statements in dynamic word document creation using Python. It's such a mouthful to put a title to this. I hope you've all found this okay. Um, how? <laughs> I'm only allowed 100 words on my video descriptions on YouTube. It really, it should be called Using Python to dynamically create Word documents based on docx TPL template reading data from a CSV with a conditional if statement to put a specific message. Uh, yeah, that's my fault. Whatever, anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe, yeah. Bye. Hello, just a quick catch up at the end of uh, this video, nothing specific to this video as such but just um, a quick quick survey really on any particular type of video you would like to see next. Um, leave any comments, please subscribe if you don't already because that's what everyone on YouTube says you must do if you don't i'll come round and draw uh, a mustache on you with this pen um yeah so really my next um i'm in between projects at the moment so my next idea is to go back to scheduling one trying to get scrapey to work on a raspberry pi i don't really want to spend too much time on that if it doesn't work but Part of the reason for doing that is so that I can look at scheduling Scrapey. If I don't get anywhere with the Raspberry Pi, I'll look at doing that on my main Linux Ubuntu machine anyway. So if you'd like to see stuff about scheduling Scrapey, then I can do that. If not, then another idea what I have is looking more at scraping and storing the data to a database rather than to a CSV. Um, another thing I may or may not look at is using Splash, Scrapey with Splash. Um, so several ideas I've got at the moment. If you've got any ideas, suggestions, comments, then please add below and I'll be pleased to consider them and see what we can do. So thanks for watching. I hope you like these videos um, and yeah, have a nice day. Hmm.